what I'm about to say may be controversial, but... All right. What I'm about to say may be controversial, but please understand this is my own personal opinion. But I believe that the Borla exhaust is like one of the best exhausts you can get for the G35. And don't mind the clinking. This is my uh, my low profile jack that's making that clinking. But man, like every time I get on this car, man, I turn it on, man. That sound is so beautiful. And I'm not just saying it because it's my car. I mean, it really sounds, I mean, look at that. Let me just go right here, sorry. I can't, I can't push it, it's cool. 20 miles an hour, you know what I mean? And to be 100%, I believe the Bola exhaust sounds even better than the motor dyne. I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I believe this is how it sounds way better. I mean, look at this. I mean, can you beat that? No droning, no nothing, no blah, 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 blah. No trumpets, no trombone, no nothing. Some people might get triggered, but I'm sorry. The Bola is greater than the Motordyne. This car is so much fun, man. Every time I get in this car, I mean, let's do a, like a little, a little pool, a little pool. Just like that, it was like seven. <laughs> Good lord, man! Look at, look at that. I'm not even joking. Car's clean now. We can head out, set camp, and fix this wheel stud that's been annoying me for a while. And it's quite dangerous to go around like that, anyway. So, in other words, look at that traffic that's what I have to deal with when I come back. This is why I prefer to stay home. Ugh. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm working with here. This is uh, all my toolbox. So, here is the critter right here that the so-called pros broke right there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get a, a drill bit to drill out the actual stud out and try to see if I can break that, that lug nut. I got another one there. Got my low jack. I'm gonna stand here and then I got my low jack just in case. Look at the damage. As you can see the Harbor Freight ones are working beautifully with the stud. Taking it off, I have to clean it off and then keep going until that lug nut has nothing to grab on. So a little update. I got it to look like that. I mean it's almost out. Like the stud on one side, the upper side is completely gone, but the bottom one is still there a little bit. But I believe like the threads are mostly gone, but the major problem is that my drill bits from Hyper Freight just quit. They did great up until that point, but then there was like, that's it. I ain't working no more. Okay, so this is round two. This is another day. I actually bought myself another set of drill bits this time I went with the Walt apparently I was doing it way too fast I shouldn't be getting those really really fine bits of metal 
I should be getting like chunks of metal and I should be doing it way slower. Now I'm using my battery operated one with the low torque settings and putting a lot of pressure so that seems to be working fine. Well, we lost a soldier. My Black & Decker drill gave up. And I'll show you how. The thing is just spinning inside there, so it is broken. That sucks. A little update on it. So you can see that the wall was doing pretty good. I was getting up until the end there. Getting close. Okay, so we're messing around here. I lift it up just to see where I was. And look, I gave it a few kicks and it's out. <laughs> now let's see the damage here. Oh boy. So there is the damaged lug nut right here. We're finally out. Screw you, you little bastard. Just like that, the new stud is in, and the G's back to normal. Say no to whack ass mechanics, or pretend to be mechanics. <laughs> Top of everything, the Black and Decker came back to life. <laughs> it seems that it was between one and two, and that's why it was getting no thread. But it's good and good. Let me show you. See that? That's good power. <laughs> Yee! What a win situation, baby. So if you enjoyed this type of content, please come back on the video. Until next time, guys. God bless. Stay prayed up. Peace.